Hello ROS developers, welcome to the ROS in 5 minutes video series by The Construct, your channel for everything ROS. I'm by the Adina Ola and this video will be looking at how to create and launch a custom world in Gazebo. Uh, but before we go into that, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to this academy in the video description. So now let's get ahead with our work. And um, for this, we are also using another powerful tool from the constructs, that is the ROS Development Studio, ROS DS. Um, this allows you to create and share projects with your team and with your friends um, online without using any computer. So you don't need to install ROS or go through all the problems. You have a platform ready. You'll find a link to the studio in the video description. So you can create account and do exactly what you see here. So now for this one, we've already created the package and we are just going to launch that. Okay, now we are ready to roll. So let's look at um, the depths. I call the three easy steps that, that will follow. So we need to know where the current world and model files are located in the installation. We construct a model file using desired models. We refer to the model names that we can see here above. And either we do either of these two, launch a new world file directly using Gazebo, which is the lazy approach. That's what we'll do. Or we create a package that launches a world file. So I leave, I leave you to do that. So let's get to work. But again, before we get to work, another feature of this ROS development studio is that we have a couple of Gazebo simulation already ready made. So in case you are looking to play with any of them, you can choose any one you like. So for example, we choose the eyeball and then it loads just without writing any line of code. So we minimize this simulation log. We're done. And then there you go with the eyeball. But now this is not where we're going. So I just wanted to show you that. So we close this and move ahead with our work. So step one. So how do we know that? We need to open a terminal. Open a terminal, we call the shell here. You can get that from the tools menu. And then we do EMV. We want to see all the gazebo variables. So the one we are interested in is um, gazebo resource path. And it's telling us is user share gazebo 9. So we are going right there. CD. So we see what is inside. So we see that we have worlds, models, and media. Let's for check the worlds. So we can say great. We have the ready-made worlds that we can launch. So for this case, we there's the word particular word I like. It's called Pioneer 2DX. So let's first of all try to launch it. So we can launch any of these words by writing Gazebo Worlds. We can actually launch this from anywhere. So since we are here, we can just skip this word. So write from, let's say, the home page, anywhere, from anywhere. Right. So we bring up one other tool which is called Gazebo specifically. So that is where we show the Gazebo simulation. So there you have your pioneer. So while we leave this window open, we are now going to see our world, the reason why we're here. So fortunately, we already created a package for that as well. But we are not going to launch using that package. We are just going to look at the world file. So here we have the world file open it's inside package but like i said i want you to try creating the package yourself after seeing the world file here so this is it and you can see that it's a very simple one of course you can examine the words here you see that there are some other parameters but it's all about the same thing so simple create a world give it a name then you include the models so here we can we can see our models don't forget the other time we we saw another folder we can see the models then so the models are listed as fo as folders and uh, when you are creating the model you just use the folder name so in this case we just used we, we use door and table 
and then we have this parameter for each one which is the post where where do we want this to appear in the world so if you study very well see that we want dot to appear here and then we can actually add this okay where do we want the table to appear so have this so let's let's make our table appear at minus five and five and then let's add another model which we can call our chair and let it appear here but 5.5 .5. then we save and we can minimize this simulation is not running so we are going to run one now go back to the terminal then we raw cd more gazebo that is the name of our project then we see the words then just like before we do gazebo demo as the name of the world then here you go so going coming back here you see that this is loading already so there you go we have a door here and we have a table and a chair so this is forming the picture of a room um, can you try creating the completing block for your, for that room? I will leave that to you. So I hope you'll be able to learn one or two things here. I hope to see you in the next video. So did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. You can also leave us your thoughts in the comments area. Peace out. Udabo.